Hey, this is Sam Brulette, Manager of Clinical Education for SPS. Welcome to the Clinical Minute. I'd like to talk to you today, just give you a quick tip. It's on the Quattro Microprocessor Knee by Proteor. Phenomenal knee, it launched just a little bit ago. We've had great results and great feedback on it. But there has been an update, and to get that updates, it should notify you if you have the app, whenever you're connected to a knee. It should give you that update. If not, there's a place to search for the update within the app. So on this uh, update, it actually affects calibration of the knee. So let's take a look at calibration of the knee the way it stands. So it consists of three steps. Step one, step two, step three. And step one is basically you have the quattro unloaded. In step two, you load the knee. Now it's important that they're as straight through the knee as possible, not leaning too far forward or too far back. The challenge was in step three was walking on the locked knee for our low K3, potential K3 patients, what they do is scuff the toe, they'd stop, hesitate, swing out too far, turn, whatever it would be. And it, what it caused was a failed calibration. That's because there was a timer involved. And that timer couldn't see enough consistent good steps to make an analysis. So it would fail the calibration. So what I was told is the engineers at Proteor have turned that timer off or taken that timer out. And without that timer, it allows those patients to do continuous walking, even in parallel bars. So our good walking amputees that have not had a problem with that calibration, it doesn't like that eight to 12 step range, something like that. It's not gonna affect them at all. But what it does, it allows us to keep some amputees maybe in parallel bars. So they can walk, stop, turn, walk, stop, turn. And it'll continuously analyze, looking for the consistent good steps that it needs to, to make a calibration list. Okay. So it might take a little bit longer or more steps, but it's a lot better than two, three, or four failed calibrations uh, with that low end uh, amputee. Anyway, I hope this is a helpful tip. For more information on the Quattro or anything at SPS Clinical, contact us at clinical at spsco.com. Thank you and have a great day.